Hi, viewers of the People Systems channel. My name is Daniel, and today we are continuing to disclose the topic of a high collision second generation modular IP intercom system. And specifically in this video, the connection, a software configuration, and a quick start of the indoor station device, this one, which we are combining with a main video intercom module to make it walk together. And by the way, all the equipment from this video is available on the People System Store website along with a special offer for our subscribers. And we begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. And what we are doing now is we start from supplying a power to, and the network to the indoor station and a video intercom via a POV switch. Or, well, you can use a 12 volt power adapter. Next, we go to the CADP tool uh, software and activating it. This and this. After, we continue in the IBMS 4200s where we configure the devices in a specific way to create their relation to each other. And then we test and check whether everything works the way it is supposed to. And in the end, we enroll our devices into the Hick Connect mobile app to access the system from the phone. And the first part is a hardware. So we do the wires. And we carry the wire out from a POV switch to the monitor. Let me do this. And to the video intercom separately, what you can see now, here's a POV switch. And by the way, we can also power it up via a 12 volts power adapter, like it can go here and it can go here. Uh, but we use a PoE type connection as a basis due to that this way requires a single wire only. So devices start up, the monitor screen lights up, a light indication appears on the intercom. Awesome, now let's move on. And now is a software part, so we need the CADP tool and the IVMS 4200s from a Hick Vision, available from the official sources, and I actually have left all the links to the relevant versions in a description. So, we open the CADP tool and locating a devices in our network, uh, well, and activating them. So, you see there's a two devices and, and their status is enacted for both of them. And, well, you can also do the same uh, with the IEMS 4200s, but, well, I'm used to the CADP, so that's the way I pick. Now, let me activate it. Here's our monitor. We'll start off from it, creating a password. Actually, to me, it's all the time. People 12. 2018. Yeah, there we go. There I go. Now we're gonna, yeah, get a second to think about the existence. Or a timeout. I repeat, and <laughs> the device is activated. Yeah, that happens. You just, you just get used to it. Well, truth of the time. All right, refreshing. Yeah, active. Now, uh, well, the identical steps we take to activate the second device. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with the uh, same password. There we go. Activate. The device is activated, refreshing. Both of them are active. And so, um, important uh, point. After the activation, we need to modify the standard factory device's addresses from the zero subnet, you can see it here and here, uh, yeah, in the middle. Zero, 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 zero. Uh, to uh, standard factory devices addresses from the zero subnet to our subnet and assign them a unique addresses in our network. So for me, you'll see now it'll be, uh, it will be, it will be uh, 192.168.064. Uh, uh, but for you, you just gotta find your network settings and we'll input them in here. So yeah, this is the way we do. We select the devices in CADP and modifying. Now start off from manic monitor. Uh, and this is what we do. This I'm leaving, leaving, leaving. And of course a gateway, which will be the same actually. So yeah, this is, there we go. Uh, now uh, enter an easier data below. The password that we've created in the previous step. Press modify. It's completed, refreshing, and you see the address here is changed. And well, that was loaded to the monitor exactly. Uh, we, well, the identical steps we take, well, yeah, for the uh, our outdoor station. The address, uh, 168.65, and here, and admin password, and modify. 
fantastic, refreshing. And there we go. So we're actually done with the CADP tool. And so as we have passed the activation and the unique addresses assignment, we need to minimize the CADP software. And so we are heading to the IVMS 4200s. Here we're gonna add our devices. Well, that is, uh, yeah, switching to the maintenance and management tab. If you won't have, if you don't have it open, go here, yeah, and pick it. Yeah, from right here, yeah, all right. Um, yeah, uh, and now we're locating them and adding. So here I got two devices, I'm checking them, I'm taking them, uh, and now I'm gonna press the add button. Uh, password, I'm gonna put the one I've created before, well, on the activation stage in the CADP software, pressing add, and yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, there you see everything. Uh, and of course, you can make sure that everything is all right and happening as it's supposed to uh, by seeing this online status in here, meaning everything was just registered in your IVMS and that's just great. So yeah, we're verified. Now, a very important point. After adding, we gotta go to our monitor, or, well, the indoor station configuration. So we press this cog button in here. Yeah, wait. And we need to go to the network and the linked network configuration. Here we gotta input, here we're gonna uh, enroll the intercom uh, outdoor station in this, in, in our monitor and to kind of mark out their relation to each other, like what are their roles. So yeah, here we uh, set the IP of the panel and the CAP server, which essentially just duplicates the IP. So that's what we do. Uh, one to nine, one, six, eight, uh, zero, and it is 65 in the end. 65 in the end, copy pasting it to the CIP server. And now I wanna draw your attention. The final item, uh, last point in here in this menu, main door station type. Uh, we select the main door station V series. This is very important. And we save and like we're done. And also we are able to initially indicate and configure the interaction between the monitor and the door station uh, on the screen of the monitor itself. So to do that, we go to a settings, uh, second tab and open the, I got, no, and open the advanced settings. Um, we using the default password, which is 3H39 set by a HIC version from the factory. And here we select a third tab, which is a devices management. And the panel will be located here automatically. So we're done with the software part, thus we move on to the test and demo. And this is how it looks in the end, an activated monitor and activated outdoor station. And so as we have already marked their interaction between them. So yeah, we call. And we'll see the video from the, oh God, it's a temper. See the video from our side, we can talk with our interlocutor. Oh God, oh God. And we can actually open the door from here. Well, if it's, if it's connected, of course. And by the way, from here, uh, we can see a scene. Yeah, from this tab, you can see a scene in a light way, as always. Hey, and see the thing is very good. And also uh, here, yeah, the same thing. This is a uh, live view. You can go here, and of course, we can bring in a few IP cameras of ours. Well, if you just want to do that, but I'm just telling it has multiple functions. And here I can view my outdoor station, can call it. God damn it. The door open the door. Open. open the door by this key. The door is open. And call back. Yeah, yeah, yeah both sides and we're done. And now we're adding a monitor to the Hick Connect mobile app available for free for the iOS and Android apps for Google Play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as you see, I got it installed and here I got a sign up. I got the user account, All right? So eventually you'll get to the screen with the add device button and that's what we need. And what I wanna say, since since a new Hikvision devices, uh, yeah, 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 this generation of the second generation IP intercom system, uh, they have a verification codes uh, instantly embedded in uh, in them. So actually, it just it just got a way easier because 
The only thing we gotta do, you, we go to a settings, we go uh, to, yeah, to the second tab, hack connect service, and what we do, just press here, add device button, and we scan and press one button, and we are done, and we don't need to input any verification codes to look for the verification codes on the box back, on the instruction, on the guides, on whatever. But we don't have to look at it, and it's perfect. And so from here, we can go on uh, to the live view. Hey, hey, you see, that is fantastic. I really love that. And so the functionality, this is what we have obtained. Door open, great. We can speak, of course. Hello? Hello. Hello. Fantastic. Uh, I can take a snapshot, record a video, stop, and some alarm functionality. But well, mostly, generally, this is what it actually is. So, yeah, we're done with it. For me, I see a bunch of positive changes and improvements in regard to the first generation. And, uh, well, all of those pros came together in this modular Hikvision IP intercom system. We have examined its main functionality, that is a monitor for receiving and making calls, and video calls, remote door opening, and the external door station DS-KD8003 IME1. And a lot of things is left out of our attention today, but we will definitely continue to overview a wide range of Hikvision modular IP intercom system possibilities in upcoming videos. So, there will be a functionality and of course, we'll show you how to connect and configure all this stuff. In the People System Store, we have a lot more, including the alarm systems, IP cameras and many other devices, brands. And if you're gonna specify if you are a subscriber, we will make a more interesting offer for you. Need help, questions, descriptions of your tasks are always welcome in the comment section below every video and none, a single one, will go unanswered. Thank you for watching.